we have the laptop flipped upside down. To get started, we need to remove all these screws along the outside so we can gain access to the inside. So we're going to start. We've got our tiny screwdriver here. And we're going to start removing these. Once all the screws are out of the back, we can flip this around and we need to separate the keyboard from the base. Um, I have this trim tool here, you can use kind of in a, you can use it in a car or wherever. I'm try to slip this in. Let's see if we can't get this to pop. Little plastic clips inside. this part now. See if I can get this to go while I hold it. Oh, see how that pops? And you're gonna work our work all the way around the edges of the keyboard until you can get all the clips loose. Alright, so once our keyboard is loose, we want to gently lift it up very slowly. Because underneath are our ribbon cables still holding on to the keyboard and the motherboard. So with these, uh, they have a little plastic tab you want to pick up on it, and then the ribbon cable will pull right out. So. I'm just gonna use my fingernail, lift up on that tab, that pulls right out. You don't wanna yank on these things. Uh, they're fairly fragile. I got that one to pick up. And that just walks itself right out. And we got one more up here. It's just a little guy. There. Now our keyboard is separated from the rest. See how thin these ribbon cables are. We're gonna set this keyboard aside somewhere. Nice and gingerly. Remove our hard drive. I'm gonna take out screws in the bracket that holds the hard drive. Set those little screws off somewhere safe and this hard drive will push out to the side and unclip itself to the motherboard. There, our hard drive's out. Uh, still attached to the bracket, but it is removed from the computer. Next, to get our CD drive out, there's just one screw holding it in right here. Pull that out, set it off to the side. Same thing as the hard drive. We're gonna slide that out of our way and set this off to the side. Next is getting this motherboard loose. Uh, there's little screws around the outside edges. You should be able to see them. They're outlined in this copper um, on this motherboard, so I'm still taking those out.
before we try to pull this motherboard out, there's a few little electrical connectors. Uh, yours may have more or less. Um, just be mindful of those. You see wires going, make sure you find where they terminate at. Uh, for these, these are just going to pull straight back. We're going to try and pull the connector and not the actual wires. Grab a hold of that, give it a little wiggle, and they should pop right out. Our motherboard at this point should be pretty loose. So what we're going to do is pick it up and kind of pull it over this way to get um, these connectors out of the edge of the plastic. On this particular model, the battery is attached to the motherboard. So we're going to get to pick that battery up just a little bit with our motherboard so that we can get everything unplugged and separated accordingly. This is our battery. All right, now that we have that up in the air, uh, we're gonna pull the motherboard straight back, to unplug it from the battery. Gently though, because we still have this connector here. There, just a little bit. Now, our battery will lift right out. This particular laptop had six gigs of RAM. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and try and update, upgrade that a little bit while we're in here. Um, I'm not gonna take this connector loose up here or these here wires connected. Uh, we're gonna gently, gently, gently lift this motherboard up to the back without pulling on any of our electrical connectors. And right here, can see our RAM card. So I can get you a little bit better view here. This is our RAM. To get this out, we just gotta pull on either side of these tabs and our RAM will pop loose. And we can pull that out. Try and get that to focus on there. That is the factory RAM in this computer. Like I said, this computer comes with six gigs of RAM. This is only a two gigabyte RAM stick. I believe the other pieces of RAM are integrated into the motherboard here, uh, giving us the four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, so we are going to try and upgrade this to an eight gigabyte stick, giving us 12 gigs total of RAM. This is the new stick of RAM that I got, DDR3L. We're going to stick this in and see if that'll give us a boost in memory. By rights, it should double our memory. So we're going to very gingerly flip this around, try and stick this stick of RAM back in here, pulling our wires out of the way and just push it up in, make sure it's seated all the way. Push up in, click on both sides, and that ram stick is in there where it needs to be. New battery. What have we got here? Nice Phillips screwdriver, that'll be handy. That's our battery. Well, there's that. Here's our old battery. There's in here. Looks pretty much the same. The widths, the holes should line up. All 
All right, kind of reverse process of what we did before here. Here we'll plug in. Battery's plugged in. And we just kind of got a big three in a place. Gently. Not so gently. Yep, see, look what I did. Watch out for your electrical connectors. Remember we took them off before, just kind of flopped them over. Well, now they're in the way. There I am not paying attention. So. I think our motherboard and battery are set in place. All that done, we just gotta reassemble, plug everything in, hold everything down. Now, our keyboard. And we'll put our ribbon cable in and flip that tab down just like we took it off. Sorry about the light here, folks. Sounds a little tricky. Catch on camera. Just in there. Put the tab down. Alrighty. And we gotta snap all our plastic clips back in around the edges. Back to the back, we just gotta screw all our screws down. I have not even charged this battery, but moment of truth, we're going to see if it works. Look at that. This is already a huge improvement over my battery I had before because I couldn't even power it on without it being plugged in, so looks like we can use it again as an actual laptop. Obviously you want to make sure all your buttons work, all your mouse works, all that sort of thing. Um, we had all that apart, uh, ribbon cables, everything else out, so. Alright, well, I'm going to go enjoy my laptop that I've been able to use for quite some time, so take it easy.